Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and yeah, welcome to my, my channel. channel. And I wanted to release this video, well, way earlier than, than I'm doing right now. But well, it happens that I've been sick and I'm still kind of sick, so that's why I'm speaking, well, this, this way, kind of... How they call it? ASMR. <laughs> Something like that. And I'm telling you that recently we had FSR 3.1 announced, which, according to AMD, where they showed in Ratchet and Clank, I believe, it was way, way better than the FSR 2.2 presented in that game, which is basically the latest version of the upscaling technique from AMD that we have now, the FSR 2.2, and the 3.1 even playing at 1080p performance mode, which is usually where the FSR loses way more to, well, compared to NVIDIA and the XCSS uh, when we're talking about lower render resolutions and they were using 1080p performance mode which basically upscales from 540p and the difference in terms of ghosting and image quality um, and image stability so meaning that we have less shimmering was just insane you can watch this video passing right now on the screen because it shows it side by side and the difference was crazy and now we have XCSS 1.3 which is the latest version of the upscaling technique from Intel so we have the LSS XCSS from Intel the LSS from NVIDIA of course and FSR from AMD. And just because of that, I'm gonna leave you with today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall! Bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So let's start by visiting Intel, Intel's own website where they actually uh, they show the XCSS 1.3 and several things changed, a lot of things changed actually. XCSS 1.3 by the numbers. Speaking of FS, FAP, <laughs> FPS values, what we're most excited to share about Intel XCSS 1.3 are the expected performance increases, so let's dig in. And they say expected performance increases because they changed things a bit and we can't consider it kind of a performance increase, but we'll get there. Before showing you the performance data, we have to make clear none of the games below include XCSS 1.3. For those Intel-only tests of the upcoming versions of our AI upscaler, Intel Engineering Labs used a modified build of XCSS and popular games to validate improvements. This gives us an idea of how XCSS 1.3 may be able to improve performance further with the future enabled games. So. Intel themselves are saying that, okay, we don't have XCSS 1.3 in games yet, so we used kind of a modified file that you can get now on GitHub, so you have some videos on the internet actually showing already the performance and uh, the quality difference in between XCSS 1.1 or 1.2 versus 1.3 and even the LSS, and it seems really, really good. But I'm pretty sure that the official implementations will be even better because their official implementations. We've compared the previous version of XCSS against our all new XCSS 1.3 and I don't really know why they have XCSS in the... well, how do we say? Not in caps. <laughs> Across seven, seven different popular games and tested them on both Intel RK750 powered desktop and a laptop powered by Intel Core Ultra 7 155H processor with a built-in Intel Arc GPU. These modern game titles pack in some of the most impressive visuals ever, which means achieving higher frame rates is not an easy feat, is no easy feat, sorry. Running the previous XCSS 1.1 or 1.2 versions on, in, on, in, in these games already makes them smooth and playable, even with ray tracing on. But we can go even faster and smoother with XCSS 1.3, and I believe there are some typos here, maybe it's just me since English is not my main language. Let's start with the Intel RK750 system, tested at 1440p high, with ray tracing effects were supported. XCSS 1.3 preview on the Intel RK750, Games modified with experimental XCSS 1.3 build versus the previous version of XCSS and native rendering. And then we have um, in, in the um, kind of the dimmer blue, we have no upscaling. Then we have XCSS performance in, um, in purple. And then in both colors, we have XCSS 1.3 both in performance mode, both the XCSS previous version and 
For example, in Hitman 1440p Ultra with ray tracing on, which is basically a bummer, ray tracing does not do much for that game and costs a lot, but still, we go from 31 frames to 63 frames with XSS performance, and then we go up to 69 FPS with XSS 1.3. But I must tell you already, right away, Intel actually changed the profiles. They added more profiles, so the, the render resolution with performance mode with the previous XSS versions is not the same render resolution as the, as the performance mode with XSS 1.3. I believe that the render resolution with the 1.3 version is lower, and that's why we're getting more frames per second, but I might be wrong. On Cyberpunk we are going from 66 to 71, on Hogwarts Legacy we go from 69 to 76, which is a good upgrade, The Witcher 3 once again 71 to 76, and the biggest difference that we see here, which is actually big in fact, is on Diablo 4, where we go from 71 to 91 FPS, which is a really big difference. We'll talk, we're talking about 20 FPS in this scenario, which is like 30%. It's a really, really big difference. But yeah, basically, if the render resolution isn't the same, uh, it doesn't mean much. Performance-wise, it doesn't mean much because the upscale is actually working with a lower render resolution, so it's obvious that the overall performance, the overall finished performance, let's say that, would be better. Then we have the XSS 1.3 preview, but this time on mobile, mobile, sorry, with once again the Core Ultra 7 155H. We have Cyberpunk, The Witcher, Hogwarts Legacy, Modern Warfare 3, Diablo, Ghost Runner, and Hitman 3. And overall, the difference is also quite nice, although the chips are way, way slower than the desktop versions with the A750. Overall, the, the 1.3 does give more performance, but once again, if the render resolution is different, it doesn't mean much. Playing cinematic games or on the go can be a challenge, but not with XCSS enabled. The newest, oh sorry, the newest version of our AI upscaler is expected to provide 8% more FPS on average and to help the built-in Arc GPU double frame rates in The Witcher 3 over native rendering. 25 to 51, that, that's actually a very nice bump, definitely. But I mean, the render resolution might be half as well because the performance mode is usually only 50% of the, the native render resolution so now we finally have something on video showing the difference in between the, the previous XESS upscaler versus the 1.3 version. And Intel says what's happening under the hood. The key improvements with XESS 1.3 are our updated AI models. Through model optimizations, additional training and in particular on difficult visual elements, the new XESS version delivers more detailed reconstruction, better anti-aliasing, less ghosting and more temporal stability. All great technical terms, but seeing the new model in action does more than the words ever will. And we can see definitely that we do, yeah, we do have way, way better quality. If you look at the previous versions, I don't really know if if this is the, the before is the XSS 1.1 or the XSS 1.3 or, or 1.2, sorry, because the 1.3 is the after. But we can immediately see, for example, on the clothes of the character, we can see that these triangles that he has here are much more visible with XCSS 1.3. At least I can see that in full screen, especially when, when, yeah, when seeing in movement. They are much more detailed here than here. And if we look, of course, at the bamboo on the, um, on the back, it's just impressive how XCSS was working like shit here. So it's not that it's working great here because it still has some shimmer. Even when stopped, you can see that it has some shimmer. But look at this, this was working like crap, and I believe that neither the LSS or FSR uh, were working like this before, but still, it's a great improvement from Intel, because XCSS in a general matter is, is better than FSR already, which is not that difficult, because the latest version of FSR was from 13 months ago, I believe, so over one year, and now we're finally going to have the FSR 3.1, which is much better. Yeah, but taking that off, you can see that the lines are way better. If you compare this one, for example, look, we have kind of a blurred line, and in here it is much more defined. The same happens for the um, for the windows in the back. I call them windows because they are they are Japanese windows or doors or something like that. And yeah, it's it just looks much better overall. Not even talking about this. Th this was kind of a glitch, but 
overall the lines are much more defined and they look much better. XCSS 1.3 is definitely, definitely an upgrade over the previous versions. It's no secret that some fine details in games can be challenging for upscalers, obviously, which can lead to distracting and annoying artifacts such as ghosting, flickering and moiré. Moiré? Moiré? <laughs> yeah, more. This scene from Like a Dragon Ishin is a good illustration of the progress before and after training the model with more challenging content. The narrow lines on or the bamboo curtain, yeah, the bamboo curtain in the background completely break immersion when upscaled with the old XESS model, definitely, as they intensely flicker instead of blending smoothly together. Now with improved training datasets, stronger AI model muscles give better results for an immersion game, for an immersive gaming experience, sorry. The ability to teach and improve our models is why we made the decision early on to make XESS an AI-based upscaler, and definitely yes, looks much better. Overall looks much better, much sharper, much cleaner, and overall with much more quality in movement or just by standing still. Definitely a huge upgrade, at least in this game, in this particular scenario. And now we have the interesting part, which is more choices to play your way. In addition to improving temporal stability, XSS 1.3 brings general quality improvements with greater detail reconstruction. For gamers, we made the decision to translate that in terms of more performance with updated quality presets, once again, updated quality presets and more choices. New image quality presets are now included with XSS 1.3, which adds Ultra Performance, Ultra Quality Plus, beautiful name, <laughs> and the all-new native anti-aliasing setting, and thank God! NVIDIA has the LEA, which is a native anti-aliasing using the aliasing from the LSS instead of using TAA. Uh, AMD also has the native AA, which isn't that great, though it might improve with, uh, with the newest version of, of FSR 3.1. And now we have the native upscaling as well with XCSS 1.3. And like I told you before, before, look, the ultra quality mode was 1.3 times the resolution scaling in the previous XCSS versions. Uh, and I, well, at least for me, that this doesn't really make sense because it should be like 70% of the, um, instead of 1.3, 70% of the resolution, maybe, anyway, so, ultra quality once again 1.3, quality 1.5, balanced 1.7, okay, and then we have the performance, which is 2 times, which is basically the, how the LSS and FSR works, the performance mode is usually 50% of the native resolution, and now they changed it, so the ultra quality is now 1.5, so the ultra quality is the previous quality, and the ultra quality plus is the ultra quality, meaning that when we saw the previous results in terms of performance, they were both using the performance mode. And the performance mode now with XCSS 1.3 is actually different from the performance mode with XCSS, and like I told you, the render resolution is lower in the new XCSS 1.3, and that's why the performance is higher. Now, since the quality improved, I believe that, that they are doing this, one, for marketing, of course, because it looks better to say that it now has more FPS, but I believe that the second Second, the second reason why they did this is because the performance mode with the new XCSS 1.3 looks as good as the, um, the performance mode with the previous XCSS version, even though it has lower render resolution since the upscale is much better now, uh, the overall quality in the end of the day is the same while bringing better FPS because once again the render resolution is lower. But, but yeah. XCSS 1.3 preview with new quality presets. Once again, no upscaling, XCSS and then XCSS 1.3 in several colors on this side. So we have native here, where we have 38 FPS in Cyberpunk 2077, 1440p high with ray tracing on. If we look at ultra quality versus the ultra quality plus, which are basically the same render resolution, XCSS 1.3 is actually, well, actually takes a bigger toll on the GPU, we have one FPS less. If we go, for example, to quality versus ultra quality, because the render resolution of these two is the same, we have actually, once again, one FPS less with balanced versus quality is the same, so it is constant, we have one FPS less with XCSS 1.3 on the same render resolution, but once again, the image quality is much better, so it is 
very, very worth the extra frame that we lose. If these, in fact, have the same quality, if XESS 1.3 with ultra quality has the same image fidelity or better as the ultra quality with a previous upscaler, it is indeed a very good upgrade because once again, we have the same or better image fidelity and we have more FPS. It's a win-win. And just finishing this part, we have ready for developers. The new XCSS 1.3 SDK is available today on GitHub and we're working closely with game developers on both upgrades and new integrations of XCSS 1.3. We can't wait to see the advances implemented in your favorite games to deliver an, an even better gaming experience. When XCSS is included in games, it gives gamers more quality and performance options than before, making jaw-dropping AI-powered visuals widely accessible. And remember, this is already here, you can download the SDK if you want to. And just to finish the video, now we have the recent versions of the LSS with the LSS 3.7, FSR 3.1 that will be released soon in Ratchet & Clank, I believe, and now we have XCSS 1.3, which is a big improvement over the previous 1.1 and 1.2, as can be seen, both in terms of performance and visual fidelity. Now, one thing that Intel is actually missing compared to the, to the other two competitors is frame generation. And if you think Intel isn't working on the frame generation technique, you're wrong. You can go here to guru3d.com and we have a, an article published three months ago where, we, we, where they are talking, and Intel actually showed this, of Intel Extra SS, which is basically, well, let's say that it is basically what Intel will bring in terms of frame generation, and it is actually a different approach from the frame generation that we see on the AMD and on the NVIDIA side. Intel Extra SS frame generation technology. Intel's Extra SS still pending release proposes a distinct method by utilizing extrapolation instead of interpolation exactly for frame generation. At SIGGRAPH Asia conference in Sydney, Intel introduced Extra SS, distinguishing it from competitors through its extrapolation-based approach, approach, unlike interpolation which uses both the current and next frames to generate an intermediate, an intermediate, an intermediate frame. Extrapolation solely relies on the existing frame to predict the subsequent one. Yeah, since it predicts just one frame with one frame, it has less latency, but once again, it might have more artifacts. Intel is also working on their approach, and I believe that very soon we're gonna have better upscaling techniques alongside better frame generation techniques as well, which is a win-win situation for us all. Even for the developers, because they don't they won't spend as much money optimizing their shitty games since they, they'll have better upscalers. <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. Thank you very much for watching this video, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think, and of course, as soon as an official FSR 3.1 integration and XCSS 1.3 integration comes, both them, as soon as one of them come, I will test those inter iterations or integrations and see how much better they are in certain scenarios, because I'm really eager to see what XCSS 1.3 and FSR 3.1 will bring in terms of upscaling quality and performance. Thank you very much once again and see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.